Hello everyone and welcome, this is Alex, the architect for back 4 app and in today's episode of our Parse Crash course we're going to start talking about relational data. You have a relation when the two distant classes have information connected. Parse supports all types of relations and those include one-to-one, one-to-many and many-to-many. On today's video, I will focus on the one-to-one -one relation, but we'll have more videos showing the other types. So, I have here my person class from the last episodes, and if I come to my code, I'm going to create a new class called address, and each person should have only one address. So, let me first create a new person. Let person equals parse.object.extend person and I have to instantiate an object for that so let person equals new person now I can set this person properties so set I'm going to copy this a person has a name in this case, we're going to call her Natalia. A person has an age. Natalia is 24. A person has a living city, which is São José. A person has a set of skills. Natalia knows computing and support and a person has a oops, distance from company in this case 200 meters okay now i should declare the new address class so let address equals parse object extend address and instantiate a new object so let address equals new address and then I can set this address property so address.set I'm going to copy this a address has a street name which is street a an address has a number which is 34 and an address has an owner which will be Natalia so I can just pass this person as the owner and I can then call address.save this save method will save both address and the person because Parse automatically understands that it needs the person data, so it will save both. A one-to-one -one and a one-to-many relation in Parse is stored as a pointer type. So, if I save this and go to my terminal, type node index.js, it will save, and if I come here and reload, you see I have Natalia here, and I have the address class with the street name, number, and the owner, which is a pointer. Now, if you notice, this type of data is a little different from the other ones because it's a button. And this string here is the object ID for Natalia. So if I click this, it will bring me to the person class with Natalia selected. So this is how you make a one-to-one -one relation in Parse. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the other videos where we'll show you how to make a one-to-many and a many-to-many relations. See you soon. Bye-bye.